So in school, we were taught that plants reproduce by seeds, uh, except for ferns, those reproduce by spores, correct? But what if I told you that your teacher lied to you? Hmm? And all plants reproduce by spores. Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now there's so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. Okay, your teacher didn't exactly lie to you, but the science that we learned in primary school is a very, very oversimplified version of how plants reproduce, right? Uh, which is flowering plants reproduce by seeds, uh, and non-flowering plants like ferns reproduce by spores. But the amazing world of plants is much more bizarre and complex than that, and that's why today we're going to show the world how plant sucks is not boring! So first things first, let's start with something that goes against this rule that we were taught about in school. And it's something that most Singaporeans come across pretty regularly. And it is that one nut in all your favourite local desserts like your ting teng and yam paste, which is the ginkgo nut. So the ginkgo tree is actually a non-flowering plant, like your ferns. But yet, this ginkgo nut is actually a seed. So usually seeds come from fruits, right, which develop from flowers. But somehow for the ginkgo tree, they develop their seeds on the branches by itself, without the need for these fruits or flowers. So they don't really fit in with your other seed-bearing flowering plants, but they also don't really fit in with your ferns, right, your other non-flowering plants. Because this kind of plant is what's called gymnosperms, which include your ginkgo, your pine cone trees, and your netum trees, which are native to Singapore. Now, producing seeds without fruits is actually the oldest form of vascular plant reproduction. With discoveries of gymnosperm fossils that date back to 319 million years ago, and they're thought to have dominated the earth until flowering plants evolved, which is maybe around 170 million years after that. And because having animals eat your fruits and then pooping your seeds out all over the place is such an optimal way to spread and uh, populate the earth, it's the reason why flowering plants have now taken over as the main player within the plant kingdom. And then we have ferns, which are just as smart, right? They use the wind to carry their spores far and wide. And that is the reason why we see these two groups of plants all around us, because they reproduce everywhere. So it just makes sense to teach kids about you know, what's very common around us, right? Flowering plants, seeds, non-flowering plants, spores. And I don't think we need to overcomplicate it for the young students with gymnosperms, right? Which are seed-bearing plants but also non-flowering plants. It's like, it's confusing. So since we're on that topic, let's talk about ferns, right? And most of you are familiar with our more common ferns like your dragon scale fern, your stag horn fern, and the most famous one, the bird's nest fern. So ferns are what we call a sporophyte, which literally just means a plant that produces spores. And fern spores are these brown powdery bits on the underside of the leaf that can be carried away by the wind. And each of these grains contain a single nucleus that will be able to produce another fern. And other kinds of sporophytes include this plant, this flowering plant, this flowering plant, and basically every plant that you're seeing here on screen right now. Wait, what? Okay, so this last part of the video might get a little bit scientific, so let me try to explain this as simply as I can. So all plants go through a life cycle called alternation of generations. And it's called alternation because all plants have two forms that they alternate through. So the first form is called a sporophyte, which I've already mentioned, and it is the form that produces spores. And the second form is called a gametophyte, which produces gametes, which are your eggs and your sperms. So it's really just a cycle that every plant goes through, right? First, you've got a sporophyte that will produce spores that will develop into a gametophyte, and the gametophyte will produce sperms and eggs that will fertilize with each other to form a sporophyte, and then the whole cycle continues. And almost all plants have one form that is dominant, which means bigger and more prominent and is the form that you usually see. So your flowering plants, gymnosperms and ferns are all sporophyte dominant, which means what you see here now, they all produce spores. So the main difference is that the spores of ferns are external and will separate from the plant, whereas for flowering plants and gymnosperms, the spores stay within the plant and they will develop into pollen grains or plant ovules. 
Yeah, so this is a small little fun fact that most people don't know about, right? Your pollen grains are not your plant sperm, right? Instead, they are individual gametophytes, which means they are microscopic plants that produce the sperms, right? Isn't it just crazy? Yeah, but again, I think our primary and secondary school kids are already having it pretty tough as it is, and I can totally understand why simplifying things would work better. Heck, even when I was in uni, I was pretty confused myself. But you know what, if you made it this far, I hope that this gives you a better appreciation of plants. Like, they are more bizarre than most people might think. And even though they're just sitting there motionless, just know that their sex life is actually more interesting than yours will ever be. But okay, I think that's definitely enough information for today. So this marks the end of today's video. But before we go, I would like to give a big shout out to Mrs. Chu, Mr. Chu, Sportsman, Juno, No, 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 Inglot, HR, Queen, Kaysen, Limpets, Muffin, Na, 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 Si, Lemak, Jelly, Pinho, Mata, Just Juice, Jablock, Tango, Amal, Delo, Neko, Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Crooked, Spider, Low, Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Nero, Angel, and Emmy. Okay, thank you for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. And also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled because all the plants reproduce by spores.